welcome to my, welcome to botany class students uh, now we are seeing the <clears throat> operon model which is a very important concept in the competitive exams so this operon model we can call it as the gene expression so the gene expressions are going to be activated with the polysaccharide chains that are present in the organism cytoplasm itself so this this gene expression will be different in a different organisms based on the availability of the polysaccharides otherwise the substrates which are present in them okay so like this here why what we are talking about the operon so what is this operon operon model is the one which will be activating the in the prokaryotic organisms only this will be done mostly okay the eukaryotic organisms for doing this type of operon concept it needs the regulatory primary uh, transcription unit and the secondary transcription unit and the translation process these are the requirements okay but in the prokaryotes it's not like that in the prokaryotes it does in a different way so here we have to talk about the bacteria in the bacteria two types of uh, things are most important that is the lactic acid bacteria and the tryptophan producing bacteria that is when the tryptophan is present so somewhat these are linked and small difference will be there so if you got this point then it will be easy for us okay so first of all we'll discuss about the lac operon model what is meant by lac operon Okay, so the operon that is a gene that is present in the organisms. This gene, this operon gene will make the uh, process otherwise acting of the another genes that are present over there. And this will be producing some products in it. That is the operon model. So whenever the other genes which are present in this uh, small gene, the operon gene, okay, that is uh, called as the acting as a different way, but doing the one single function that is called as the operon, just like a tissues, cells and the tissues. So here in this one, lactic acid operon, that is the, whenever the lactic acid is uh, present in the organism, what it happens when the lactic acid is absent in the organism, what happens? So this was the first discussed, described by Jacob and Monad. Okay, so what they said, they said that the whenever the, whenever the lactic acids are more, then this gene will be switched on. Then it will be producing the energy from the lactic acid and gives to the organism. If the lactic acid is less, then it will be this operon model will be off. That is just like a switch on and off model. Okay, like that this lac operon will work out. So this lac operon is having the three parts in it. The operon concept, operon model is having three concepts, three genes in them. So one is the regulatory gene, operator gene, structural genes. So the regulatory gene is the one which is a present which is making the repressor protein, okay? A protein is going to be made with the regulatory mRNA, repressor mRNA, and this protein is the most important one which makes this operon model to be on and off due to the substance numbers in the cytoplasm and surrounding to this gene. And the operator gene is the one which operates, which makes initiation for the structural genes to activate. That means they will be activated to produce the, uh, the specific mRNA and that is the transcription process occurs. Then the translation process occurs to produce the specific enzymes. So that is the, so with that, the complete lactic acid molecules are utilized and the energy will be given to the space, to that organism required, required the, to the specific organ there. That is the operon model. So in this operon gene, two promoter genes are present, which are adjacent to the, just one is a pre, pre, prior to the uh, repressor regulatory gene and the second is after the regulatory gene. 
So two promoter genes are there. These two promoter genes will make the initiation of this operon model. That is the main function. Okay. And the I gene, that is the regulatory gene, what we'll say. This regulatory gene is the one which will make the repressor mRNA. Okay. This makes a regulatory mRNA. This is the red colored one is the repressor mRNA. And this repressor mRNA produces the repressor proteins over here. This, with the transcription process, it makes the repressor mRNA. This repressor mRNA produces repressor protein. Okay, you with the translation process. Now what happens? Now this one, once the repressor protein is formed immediately, if in the surrounding area nearby this one, if the lactic acid molecules were absent, then this repressor protein will go and binds on the operator gene. It blocks the operator gene like this. So, operator gene cannot initiate, otherwise activate the structural genes. So, the structural genes cannot go with the transcription and the translation process. So, enzyme production was not there. So, with that, the energy production, that is the amino acid production, will not be seen over there. So, with this, so now what we will call with this, the lac operon is off mode. Okay. Why? Because the repressor protein binds on the operator gene. So, the lac operon model is off. Now, in this, uh, three structural genes are present. Z, Y, A. And uh, these three, in these three structural genes, Z is the bigger than the Y. Y is bigger than the A. So, that is the smallest gene is the structural genes as the A, A gene. Okay. So, now, the if the uh, lactic acid molecules are present, then what happens? If the lactic acid molecules are present, then one of the lactic acid molecule acts as an inducer. Okay, acts as an inducer. Once this promoter operator, this regulatory gene, which will be promoter gene, starts this process, and the uh, this repressor gene will produces the repressor mRNA. From this repressor mRNA, with the translation process, repressor protein is formed. Immediately, this protein is blocked with the lactic acid molecules, which acts as the inducer over here. Now, this protein is inactivated. It cannot bind to the operator gene. Then, this operator gene will start will start activating the three structural genes and through the transcription process, they make lack mRNA here. Lack mRNA is formed as the transcription process. And this lack mRNA will be synthesizing the different enzymes. The structural gene Z synthesizes beta galactosidase enzyme, which makes the monos disaccharides into converts the disaccharides into the monosaccharides. And the Y gene is the um, producing the permease enzyme. The permease enzyme functions are not at clear, but it makes the uh, disaccharides to enter near the uh, bit, uh, near this uh, beta galactosidase enzyme so that the it can convert it into the monosaccharides. And the A is the A is translated into the transesterase enzyme. This transesterase enzyme is the one which will make the uh, simpler um, complex compounds into the simpler forms. Like this, the lactic acid that is the lac operon model is going to be switched on. Okay. Now we will see the another operon model that is called as the tryptophan operon model. In the tryptophan operon model. In the tryptophan operon model, what we can see over here is the when the tryptophan is there in the as an antibiotic production, 
then what happens? If not, what happens? This is just opposite to the lac operon model. In the tryptophan, when the tryptophan molecules are there, then those will make this operon model to be close. Okay, that is the off mode will be there. So in this tryptophan operon, five structural genes are present. Okay, so that is the E, D, C, B, A. We cannot call, we cannot read the genes from the right to left. Left to right only we need to read, just like English. Okay, E, D, E, C, B, A, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, five structural genes are present. That is the trip, trip E, trip D, trip C, trip B, trip A. Now, this before this operator, one operator gene and one promoter gene will be presented. Whenever the tryptophan molecules are more in the nearby this gene, then this gene will be off mode. Operon model is off mode. That is the, it cannot operate, it cannot, the promoter gene and the regulatory gene cannot make the uh, transcription process in making the mRNA of the regulatory mRNA, then it cannot make the repressor proteins in it. So with this, this repressor protein is cannot be, it, the, whenever the repressor protein is made, then re, this repressor protein is blocked with the tryptophan. So with this, this cannot activate this entire process. So like that, the off mode will be present when tryptophan molecules are more near by this gene. And when the tryptophan is less, then the production has to be done by the structural genes. Then this operator gene will not produce the repressor protein. And this repressor protein, if produced also, cannot be blocked. So it makes this structural genes to be active during the transcription and the translation process. Then the tryptophan molecules of production is going to be increased. So like that, the tryptophan uh, operon gene, trip operon gene is on at that time. So it's completely opposite to the lac operon model. So they can ask this in the NEAT exam, that is in the competitive exam. So don't forget, this is the completely opposite one to the lac operon. Okay, so this is the complete operon model. So we will see the next video in the next class. Okay, right. Thank you.